Welcome to the first ever episode of Scribbles with Sai. Today, Jolene and I are going to walk you through the process of my first painting of 2021. Most of my ideas for paintings come when I'm playing outside. In this case, on New Year's Eve, we skied up into the hills to talk and poke the fire for a few hours, and that's where this painting really started. My ski boots were still wet from skiing all day, so I used an old approach setup with Silvretta bindings. Silvrettos are these old frame bindings that can work with ski boots or mountaineering boots. They're super sketchy, but a bunch of really cool lines were pioneered on them, and I've always loved their chunky retro aesthetic. And then we went on a long walk yesterday in a more remote area with a long flat walk out and I got a chance to ruminate on what I wanted to paint. So I whipped up this super rough sketch with a basic idea of what I wanted to draw. Sort of a loner cowboy type singing to himself by the fire with his trusty silverettos in the foreground. I brought that sketch into Procreate on my iPad and started refining it and working it out. No cowboys wandered around the west skiing new lines as far as I know, but I like to have an element of fantasy in almost everything I paint, so he's got his ski set up and his lever action rifle, and I decide to throw in an old ice axe and an elk rack poking out of his pack, just to give him a little bit more of a backstory. At this stage, I'm just trying to get the geometry and perspective of everything close to right. So I'm resizing and tweaking things as I sketch, and I'm leaving notes for myself about details I need to go back and add. This stage took me about an hour, just getting the bare bones line work of everything drawn in, and it's pretty fluid as I decide what details I want to include. When it's good enough, I export it and print it out on a piece of watercolor paper. Then I tape it to a piece of plywood and start painting. I'm mostly using a super cheap Hemi gouache set, along with a few tubes of Arteza gouache as well. Start out with big washes to start to establish the overall values, and then I start working in the flat colors over that. Since this is the first piece I'm doing this year, I'm not stressing the details super hard. I'm not trying to make the best painting I've ever done. Instead, I'm trying to execute something that's a good indication of where I'm at on average right now. That way I can look back in a year and see how I've changed as a painter. Once I've blocked in all those flat colors, I start to work the darks down and the lights up. I'm working up washes of yellow and orange where the firelight is hitting and working down washes of black and blue where the shadows are cast. I always start to hate the painting right about now. It starts to lose its forms and I almost always feel a little despair at this point. I'm always convinced that it won't ever look good and that I should probably just give up. And that's an indicator for me that I'm probably done mucking around with paint and it's time to go back with pen. So I start cranking out the line work. I'm using these cheap fine liners from the convenience store. They're affordable and they do the job. I hit all my basic outlines with the 05 size and then I go back and add detail with the 03 and 01. Once that's all done, I add highlights with a white gel pen and pop some stars in there as well. Then it's time to peel the tape and see what I've come up with. So there you have it, my first painting of 2021. There are quite a few issues that stand out to me as needing refining, but that's sort of the point. This painting is just the starting place for a year of growth. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments below and subscribe if you want more of this in your life. Thanks.